Hey everybody, how's it going? Hope you're having a lovely day. Today I'd like to talk about a fellowship program at the organization that I currently work for that we're offering for people to get paid to develop cool free open source software that returns freedom to users of their technology. This fellowship program is similar to the grants program that I've been talking about on this channel over the past few months. With our grants program, what we do is we allow people to apply and then if they're creating cool software that returns freedom to the end user and we think it's cool, we give them money. There is no strings attached for this. We're not saying we need to own a PC or company. You need to change this, that, and the other. It's just, thank you very much for what you're doing. Here's money to keep doing more of it. Some of those grantees have been Marvin from MicroG. Many of you may know this from YouTube Vanced. That's a component in YouTube Vanced. However, MicroG has many more applications than just YouTube Vanced, which are really cool. And I suggest you listen to that interview to find out what they are. We have Nick Merrill from Calyx OS. We also have Daniel McKay from Graphene OS, who I'd absolutely love to have on the channel for an interview at some point in time. We have Ian Clark here, the creator of Freenet. He was the architect of a censorship-free, anonymous, decentralized internet before that was cool back in the early 2000s, so that if you're in a country with a repressive government and you want to figure out about stuff like Tiananmen Square or women's rights in the Middle East, you can search for that type of stuff and look it up without getting in trouble or getting screwed over by your government. Really cool guy who's developing some really cool stuff stuff, and we got a lot more cool grants coming up. The fellowship program is not quite the same as the grants program. The fellowship program is a little bit more personal. What we'd like to do is we would like to invite people to come here and create open source software that returns freedom to the users of the technology and pay them to do it. So what we'd like to do is extend to you an invitation. You get free housing for three months in Austin, Texas. You get free office space in a new 13,000 square foot facility in Austin, Texas. You get $20,000 for you and each member of your team that's gonna be coming here. And above all, you get mentorship from everybody that's here. The founder of this organization has over 25 years of experience in Silicon Valley. He was the architect of Yahoo Games. He was one of the primary programmers of WhatsApp and he wasn't exactly happy with it being sold to Facebook as you'll hear in several of the interviews I have on this channel. He's also the first person to donate to Repair Preservation Group with a seven figure donation two years ago and is the person that called me up and suggested that I take my right to repair advocacy work a little bit more seriously than just yelling into a camera on YouTube and actually start a dedicated organization to it. Somebody that's really focused on freedom and technology in a way that I can get behind. I think there's a lot that new programmers and startup founders could learn from somebody like this. And it's really cool to just be able to, I don't know, if you're a programmer that's working on a new piece of software, just be able to walk over and right next door, knock on the door and be able to just start a conversation with somebody that's started these interesting companies, worked on these really cool pieces of software at pivotal points in time and be able to get advice and mentorship. If you want to apply for this program, I'll include an email down below along with a list of questions. Some things you should understand about our philosophy and our belief system. A, we expect people that we fund to not be sellouts. You should not be looking to have an exit strategy where you sell out to Google or Amazon or Apple or somebody else who want you to be independent, who want you to keep working on what it is you're working on and not just get bought up by somebody else that your project can sit on a shelf somewhere and never really achieve its full potential. We want you to not abuse your customers. You shouldn't have a, the customer is the product kind of business model where you're mining their data and abusing them in the way that many modern companies do. And we want people to have control over their software. So we want this type of thing to be open source. We don't want to be funding closed source software where people don't really have control over what their computers are doing. That brings me to the five pillars of Fudui software that I believe I should be introducing at this point in time. One, open source. If people are gonna have control over the computers in their lives, they must have the capability of inspecting and modifying the software running on them. Two, self-managed servers if applicable. Servers should be open source as well. It should be relatively easy for a user to run their own server for whatever the client software needs. Three, sovereign identity if applicable. Servers must allow the user to authenticate with a private public key pair. Email and phone number authentication is sensible for normal people, but it must always be possible for a user to transition to using a sovereign mechanism where somebody else can't just shut them off. Number four, open databases if applicable. Crowdsource content should not be kept hidden in a silo by the crowdsourcer. The creator of the content most likely intended for their work to be distributed as widely as possible. The crowdsourcer must provide reasonable mechanisms for content to be distributed by others. Five, end-to-end -end encryption if applicable. Servers should not be able to leverage their man-in-the-middle status to discern the content of communications between their users. And zero, because we set this to five pillars before we realized there was a sixth one. Don't suck! 
And this applies to all software, food away or not. We have accomplished nothing if our software is sluggish, unreliable, or lacks key features. The client should be delightful. The server should help the clients be delightful. There's a running joke in the office with one of the fellows from the last fellowship program where we'll be talking about a piece of hardware or a piece of software that respects your freedom, that respects your right of ownership, and there's something off with it or something wrong with it or something that just doesn't work or randomly freezes. And he'll just look and he'll have this smirk on his face and he'll say, that's the price of freedom. And we don't think that that should be a thing. Software should be able to respect your rights of ownership and freedom while simultaneously not being a steaming pile of shit. These things should not be mutually exclusive. And if you believe in these things, if you understand our philosophy, if you think this is a cool idea, if you think this would be a cool way to spend your spring or summer, please do email us down below. We are going to have a list of questions for you. When you email us, you should have in the subject, fellows program, and be able to answer these 10 questions. What's your project? How will your project reduce the harm that tech oligopoly inflicts upon the people? How and when do you expect to publish the work resulting from your project? What have you finished or accomplished so far? Who is the target user of your work? What do you plan to do with copyrights and patents resulting from your project? How will you measure the success of your project? Be specific. How would you rate your chances of success? What resources can we provide to assist? And what resources have you been provided before, if any, and from what donors? We would like you to answer those questions. And if you're working on something cool, we'd like to pay you to develop it. Again, we're not looking to have a stake of ownership in your project. We're not looking to take a percentage of your project. We're not looking to change the way you, you, know, you work on your project. If you have a cool project, we want to pay you to come here and make it happen. This is a very interesting city with a lot of cool tech stuff going on that is growing and growing, and we want to invite you to be a part of it. And if you think this is interesting, email down below. I mark this as paid promotion because I am an employee of the company that is offering this, but at the end of the day, this is really less of a product that I'm promoting and more so if you want to develop cool shit and get free money to do it, come apply. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. I am excited to be announcing some of the next grantees. I'll be announcing some of the newest grantees over the next few months. Thank you very much to everybody who applied, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.